We use buttons all the time, on our computer keyboards, on video game controllers, on a microwave. We know that when we push a button, something is supposed to happen. In a circuit, electricity flows in a circle. To power our circuits, we need a power source. In small projects, we use batteries as our power source. When a battery is connected in a circuit, the electricity flows from one end of the battery around powering electrical components like this LED, and the electricity flows back around and through the other end or side of the battery. This is called a closed circuit. Electricity is flowing, so the LED is on. If the circle is broken, making it an open circuit, electricity will no longer flow and the LED turns off. By adding something, like a piece of conductive tape, that can temporarily close the gap, we can create a switch. By adding and removing the switch, the circuit can be opened and closed, turning the LED on and off. When the switch is pushed in place, electricity goes around to the LED. In advanced circuits, when a button is pushed, it sends electricity to somewhere in the circuit to make something happen. But often, we only need to push a button for a moment to make that thing happen. So we use a momentary button. Momentary buttons often have some sort of spring built in. When you push it down and then let go, the spring pulls it back up. The button contains conductive material. Conductive means it will allow electricity to flow through it. When the button is pushed, the conductive material moves to connect the two sides of the gap in the circuit, and the circuit is closed, turning the light on. When the button is released, the spring pushes the conductive material away, opening the gap back up, opening the circuit, and turning the light off. Here are a bunch of different types of buttons that are used in electronics in circuits. But buttons don't have to be that fancy. You can make your own with simple materials like cardboard, rubber bands, and a conductive material like aluminum or copper, foil, or tape. 